Next up, we're taking a look at one of my favorite surplus stores, Hans Surplus in Las Vegas, or just outside of Las Vegas. We went up there uh, to start the Buncha Loophole tour, heading off to the 2A rally in DC. And whenever we go to Vegas, we stop by Hans. So this is just some video of around the store, uh, some of the neat surplus stuff that they have, including different boxes, ammo cans, crates, different containers. Uh, they've got lots of uniforms, boots. This is some giant uh, display boots or maybe something to catch people's eye at a gun show or something uh, that are I've seen those before, so I think those are made by one of the boot companies. Lots of used stuff and just sort of some general footage of the shop. Uh, this this visit, I did end up purchasing a couple of things or grabbing a couple of things from the store, including some nylon straps that I'm going to use to make patches, uh, sort of those tabs. And uh, it's got some orange material off of this rack and in the back of the store. So Hans is a cool shop. I've been going for many years. This is one of the stores that I use to compare all the other sur surplus stores I go to. It's a large place and it's been around for a long time. It's fun to explore. It's not just a big grid. It's a kind of a, not too difficult to navigate, but it's a bunch of different rooms with different doors. Uh, they have the same inventory that grows and fluctuates, but for the most part, the uniforms, the boots, the clothing, the containers, the materials, the armor, the paintball stuff. It's all in different areas. They have stuff for mining, gold mining, copper mining. Uh, they have pure military surplus. They have in some industrial surplus. And the, the shelves are just overflowing with things. Uh, something I found this time around, which I had never seen before. You can see this aisle has a bunch of different shovels and, and um, machetes and trenching tools and all kinds of neat stuff and on this one bin they had all these swords and the most expensive one was nine dollars i guess they might have been damaged or you know not in perfect condition this one had a thing missing on the bottom it was only 4.99 perfectly fine blades perfectly fine scabbards uh, either the handles were goofy or you know just a little cosmetic damage to the, to the handles basically so anyway, I thought that was neat. I did pretty good and didn't buy any of them, but really, really wanted to. Just for the blades alone, you could repurpose those into some new type of swords or something. Anyway, I was there to see the Red October. We posted that at the beginning of the video. I ended up going to this gun show, and it was cool that a surplus store had an advertisement for the gun show. And then this was the kickoff for the uh, two-way rally trip, where we headed from the from Arizona here, to, in this case Vegas, all the way out to DC to check out that two-way rally. So this is part of the, gun, the uh, gun, show, gun show loophole tour, where we tour the country exploring our 2A. Another way that we explore our Second Amendment is through the efforts of other activists and people out there that are doing interesting work. We appreciate them, we support them on Patreon, and we're able to do that because people like you support us on Patreon. Thank you for that. Thanks for the ability to continue on with these projects. Stay tuned for lots more. Let us know in the comments what you think if you've been to Hans. Until next time, thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.